Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new game coming out called Call of the Wild, The Angler. Right now, we're on early access, and we're going to be checking out this game for the first time ever. So here we go. What is it about your hobby that keeps you coming all the way out here? Is it the freedom wandering in search of that perfect spot? You've made your own path through these hills. Tasted the fresh water of our lakes, our rivers. You've been on the water with friends at sunrise and helped the locals long past sunset. But you just keep coming back. At this spot, you got a pretty good idea what's lurking beneath the surface. But there's only one way to find out. Whether it's the one you write home about or the one that gets away, that feeling is what gets you hooked. That whether it's your first time or your hundredth time, you never know what you're gonna catch until it's caught. Call of the Wild, the Angler. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be starting off at Golden Ridge Reserve. It's in the United States and there's 12 fish species here to be able to fish. So we're gonna enter and see what happens. All right, here we go. So it looks like we're gonna start off by doing a tutorial and we're gonna press one to equip so, our rod. Let's start off with a simple cast. Keep those shoulders and hips square for me. Check it out. There's our bobber, our absolute massive bobber. What are we fishing for catfish here? And then it looks like we have a worm on a hook. All right, so we have to hold the left mouse button and then use the mouse wheel to go forward and back and then release it to, well, cast, apparently. Um, let's give her a shot here, shall we? <laughs> oh my god, that did not work very good. All right. Oh, he did it. Used to it. That was not too pretty. <laughs> All right, press and hold the left mouse button to reel in. Hold the shift to reel in faster. Feels All right. fantastic, right? Well, I'd like to see you do a few more. Let's say two. Nice, nice. Now we're fishing for real. I'd like to see a nice clean cast. Strike as soon as she bites and reel her in when she's tired. As soon as she bites, huh? Wait for a nibble. We are not getting a nibble. Oh, we're getting a nibble. We're getting a nibble. Oh! <laughs> okay, so we set the hook a little too soon. Oh, look it. It looks like the worm actually almost fell off of our hook. That's a pretty realistic feature. I like that. Well, let's try it again. So the cool part is you actually have to wait until they really do take it all the way down. A little nibble is not going to cut it. You got to wait until they start pulling that bobber down. So we're getting another bite, but it's not taking it down all the way. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. that's a fighting fish. That is a fighting fish. All right, let's get him up. Oh, <laughs> look at that. We got our first fish. And I'm going to have to figure out a way to change out these from kgs to pounds because i don't know what 0. 0.42 kgs even stands for or 18 0. 0.18 meters is that like a 
five or six inch fish or something like that looks like we're gonna get an increase to our rod reel and worm let's release it congratulations she's a beauty the fish here aren't yours to keep so even if you love her you gotta let her go i see a fish going for it come on take it down oh he's nibbling on it he's nibbling on it Fish on, fish on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm adjusting the drag. All right, here he comes. Let's get him Let's in. Let's take a look around. Can you climb to the top of that lookout tower for me? Boy, is that a giant. So he actually weighed less than one pound and was about a quarter of an inch long. Although I don't know how long... Point 18 inch yards. We'll just go with six inches. All right, we got to climb the lookout tower and survey the terrain. We're here to fish, not be fish. Whoa, <laughs> apparently you can drown. So you got to be careful. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's go to the top of this lookout tower and check out the land. After that, we're going to go out and try and catch some fish. Because that's what we're here for. Golden Ridge Reserve. What's in the name, huh? Well, this one dates all the way back to the late 18th century. French trappers named the park Cret d'Or. That's a lot of water down there. Wow. I can see you. Can you see me? Come find me. I'm down at the outpost. All right, we got to meet the shopkeeper, which is probably right below us. Yeah, down over there. Whoa, holy, this thing actually flies. Look how fast you can go. This right here is my pride and joy. The Central Reserve Outpost. This ain't just any outpost. You'll find all the bells and whistles here, like Taylor's Tackles, a brand new shop run by my friend Sophia. Other than that, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to Got a nice stag rack up there. Plus a flagpole for yourself. All right, where's the shop? Right here. Nice to put a fish to a face. While you're here, can I interest you in a bargain? Wow, look at this. We got a person talking to us. All right, talk to the shopkeeper. Enter the shop uh, by holding E and then get some bait. Go to the shop, get some bait. Okay, we'll get some bait. How about some bread? It's on the house. Uh. I guess I'm trying to buy something, maybe? Like, I don't know what you want me to do. Bait. We must have gotten it, because I can't do anything anymore. I don't even know what to say. Okay. Tell me it worked. Oh, geez, it didn't work. What do you want me to do? Go in to buy equipment. Bait. There's the bait. Okay. Do I hit Z? Oh, my God. Finally, I figured it out. Oh, no, that didn't do anything, actually. What do you want me to do? Like, what should I do? I hit buy, nothing happens. What do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do? do? For real. Ooh, some moldy cheese. Now, you won't get far if you don't put your bait oh on your rod, so give it a go. Oh my god. I literally just clicked on that same exact thing 15 times. 
And now it finally decided to work. Okay, well, I don't know what I did wrong, but... Apparently it finally worked. Now what am I supposed to do? Holy... Press the Q to empty... Press the Q button to open the quick menu, select the bait category, and switch to the bread you just bought. Do I do that right now? Okay. Go to the jetty. I always thought it would be lonely out here, but honestly, I think whatever the jetty is. Goodbye for now. Is it the dock? Do they call it a jetty? I feel like they might call this dock a jetty. Interesting. Well, this is pretty cool. We got a couple of boats stored in here. And there's a boat right there. But here is apparently... Wait. Drag is a function that determines how much power a fish needs to use to take the line from your reel. The higher you set the drag, the more energy a fish needs to spend the line. Um, stronger reels produce more drag. Change your drag by equipping the rod using one and then using up and down. Cool. Okay. A lower drag will let the fish... Yeah, we get it. 0% won't allow the fish to come in at all. So press one. Try setting your drag higher. Give setting your drag lower a go. Oh, there it is. Look. On the bottom left, it shows the percentage of what our drag is at. 30%. All the way to 60%. 80%. I think 60 is good. All right. Now let's catch a fish. What kind of cast was that? Let's try that again. There we go. It's kind of cool how you can see the fish swimming over to it. Oh, look at the wake. Look at the wake down there. Oh, 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 that's a nice fish. Too much drag, too much drag. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So we want to keep it at about 30% it looks like. Wow. 20% is too much. Interesting. Fish is on the dock. And we officially have our biggest fish, a 1.35 pound, 0.24 yard bass. Cool. All right, learn about pumping. Pumping is the act of lifting the rod to pull a, clo a fish. All right, learn about pumping. Pumping is the act of lifting your rod to pull a fish closer to you and reeling in the slack line created as you lower it back down. Okay. Keeping your rod opposed to the fish's swimming direction is a good way to tire out a fish faster. But wait with reeling until the fish has stopped fighting unless the drag is holding it in place. All right, now let's try catching a fish with what you know about drag. Try not to let the fish gain too much line by keeping your tension high when you need to. Whoa, look at that little cast. Oh, I didn't even try and set the hook. <laughs> I'm trying to cat. I'm trying to cast it, but. All right, how do I cast again? Oh my gosh. It won't let me... It won't let me cast like... Yeah, I can't cast anymore. I guess this is how I have to cast from, from now on. I guess that's how we're gonna cast. All right, fish on, pump it, pump it, pump it. Ha 
<laughs> you gotta pump it. That's another beauty. You're a natural. There we go, Finally. one point four pounder. It's been a pleasure, but Taylor's tackles needs me. Go check in with the warden and don't forget to drop by. Okay. Now we gotta find the warden. Hello there, sir. Well, well, I take it you got my message. Well, howdy. Welcome to the reserve, buckaroo. First up, buckaroo, here's your bread. Oxide daisies are the thorn in the side of sweet mother nature. Pale, mangy weeds. Can't miss them if you wanted to. Now for the butter. Engelman spruce beetle infestations. Horrible little creepy crawlies that'll rip a forest apart in a flash. And finally, Bread and butter ain't Visit the water a mill? big sizzling hunk of meat. Personally, I reckon bones are useless without tasty flesh attached. But them tourists love a crusty stegosaurus. So keep a lookout. Don't go out of your way, but if you're fishing and you spot one, let me know. Okay. I think we're supposed to go over here now? Be well, Buckaroo. Check the journal. Oh, there we go. Map. Whoa, check out this map. All right, so these are all outposts, I believe. It looks like we're about to get a truck. All right, do we hire a truck? Now what's going on here? All right, let's get one. All right, we got our truck. Let's go for a ride. Well, this is actually pretty sweet. Like the effects in here, except for the fact that the odometer says zero, 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 zero. <laughs> or no, that's the trip. The odometer actually says like something one, zero, one, two, eight, maybe like 12,810. Okay. Okay. And then the gas says it's on empty. Whoa, no way. Come on. You did not just do that. The gas gauge actually works. Oh, that's so cool. All right, I low-key have no clue where the heck we're supposed to go right now. I honestly have no clue where we're supposed to go. I tried to check the map. It says visit the water mill. But how am I supposed to know? Where the water mill is? Visit the vista. Visit the waterfall. Visit the sawmill. Visit. Oh, there it is! Dude, I found it! How to get I guess it's this way, maybe, huh? Yeah? I don't even know where we're going at this point. This is going from a fishing game to a. Uh, off-road and jeep game, I guess. I'm pretty sure it's this direction, but I could be wrong. Whoa, we're going pretty fast. We are legit going 60 miles an hour. Oh my god, we're gonna flip this thing. I can't even go straight anymore. Oh no. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, I'm pretty sure the water mill's over here. You know what? Why don't we rent a boat and take it out for a little spin? Let's do that. That's what I think we're going to do. We're going to get a boat. Sweet. Check it out. We got a boat. Let's get on. All right. Let's go for a ride. Here we go. Whoa. Let's see how fast this thing can go. Going about 20 miles per hour. Can go faster? Okay, that's as fast as you can go. 20 miles per hour is pretty fast. Turn it sharp. And let's give her a cast out there. I don't know why I can't cast anymore, but apparently we're doing some underhand casting here. Look at that fish, look at that fish right there. Big fish, big fish. Come on, cast further. Oh, there's a couple of fish out there. I can't remember how to cast, guys. I remembered. I remembered. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. We got a fish coming. 
He's right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a nice fish right here. Come on, he sees it. He sees it. Is that a muskie? What is that? Dude, we literally have a muskie right next to us. Oh, that's cool. You know what though? He's probably not gonna go after it because we're using bread. But the thing is in order to get bait, you have to have money. And to get money, we have to have... Oh, we did get money. All right, change of plans. Why don't we get some real bait? No more bread. At least we know where an awesome spot is here. Look at all the fish out here. I gotta admit, it does seem super, super strange to see like fish cruising on top of the water like this. Like, I've never seen that in my entire life. What, random fish just come up to the top and surface? We got 30, 40 inch muskies just cruising the top. Walleyes, bass. <laughs> it does seem a bit odd. Alright guys, well, we've been fishing for about 25 minutes now and haven't had a single bite. I don't know. Apparently, these fish just want to swim on top of the water and are not very hungry. But, that's gonna be it. Um, yeah. Call the wild... the angler. Seems like it's gonna take a long time to figure it out. A long time. And apparently, you have to do all of these missions first. Like, for a fishing game, why do I have to do all of these things? It's basically just unlocking outposts. I get that, but like... I'm not here to go visit all these outposts and go sightseeing. I'm here to go fishing. And it won't even let me really catch a fish until I do that, so... Yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Maybe.